All right, with that down, let's move on to main topic number four. And the fourth main topic today comes to us from Jonathan Villapando, who writes, Hey, John, uh, greetings from California. Well, I'm in California myself. Uh, there have been rumors about Andy Serkis having a role in the upcoming Batman film. Do you think he will be playing a small or big role in the film? And if he might be playing one of Batman's villains? All right, thanks a lot for the question, man. And yes, there are reports going around um, let's be clear, unsubstantiated reports at this point that Andy Serkis could be making an appearance in the upcoming uh, Batman film that Matt Reeves, of course, is directing. One of the things that really does lend itself to this is, well, there's a couple things that lend themselves to this. Number one, we all think of Andy Serkis in his mocap stuff as, you know, Caesar in uh, Planet of the Apes, which he's stupid good in, of course, as Gollum, where he kind of defined what it was to be a motion capture performer and artist, but also in his live action stuff, most recently, of course, playing Claw in Black Panther, in which he was fantastic as Claw. He's got a great on-camera charisma. I just love the guy. And so, Rob, now they're talking about there's these reports going around that he is probably going to pop up in Batman. Again, unsubstantiated and not coming from any of the major trades. Let's be clear about that. But the other thing that does kind of lend itself to this rumor, Rob, is the fact that Matt Reeves is doing this new Batman. Matt Reeves and Andy Serkis know each other very well. They yep. worked together on those Planet of the Apes movies that Andy Serkis did such a tremendous job in. We know that directors love going back to performers that they're comfortable with, that they have worked with, that they know what they're getting out of them. So, look, at this point, I think you've got to write up this Andy Serkis thing to a rumor. But it's a rumor that's got a lot of anecdotal evidence behind it that really does prop up the potential for legitimacy. There's a few things in here that really do make sense if this was the case. Rob, let me ask you this. Number one, do you think there is a chance that we could see an Andy Serkis in a new Batman movie by Matt Reeves? And if so, do you think that's a good move or a cheesy kind of novelty move? How do you see it? I think it's a, gr I think it's a great move. I mean, it's funny. This week on, on Blu-ray, a movie called 24-Hour Party People came out. And Andy Serkis is in 24-Hour Party People. He plays a character named Martin Hannett, who is the record producer who produced Joy Division and New Order. And and well, I've met Andy Serkis, and the first time I ever met him, I said, dude, Gollum's great, but I loved you as Martin Hannett in 24-Hour Party People. And he actually embraced me. He's like, people don't even remember I was in that movie. And I'm like, you were so good in that movie. And I think he's one of our most deft, gifted Real, he, he's a multi-talented guy. He's directing now. You know, he's directed two features. He directed Mowgli, and he directed a feature before that. He's with gonna, uh, with uh, Andrew Garfield. Yes, and he's going to direct a movie called Brunderbar, and he's doing Animal Farm. And, and I think as an actor, he's incredibly underrated because most people know him as Gollum. Right. But he's a terrific British actor. You know, his son starred last year in The Kid Who Would Be King. So oh, I can't forget that was his son. That was his son, and Andy Serkis is now creating an acting dynasty. So you know why I want Andy Serkis to play Penguin. I think Andy Serkis would knock it out of the park as a a different kind of a penguin, like a debonair penguin, somebody who's not like rah, 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 not like Burgess Meredith or Danny DeVito, but more of an upscale penguin. I think he could do something great with that. We'll see. I don't know. I love the news though. Uh, uh, look, I, I think you can make him anything you want him to be. I'll tell you what, the first thing that crossed my mind, Alfred. Alfred crossed my mind. Mm. You go with a more, because more and more over the years, we've been really getting, the, the character of Alfred has been more evolving, whether it's from Gotham or other incarnations, Michael Caine even, that Alfred's background is that of a badass, right? Right. So maybe you go a little bit younger than the traditional Alfred. Not a, not a ton younger, but a little bit younger than traditional Alfred. And a guy who still looks like he will wreck your face if you cross some sort of idea. I, so I, I'd be down for him even as an Alfred, but you're right, he, he would knock it out of the park as any role though. I mean, I just think he's that caliber guy. He can bring this up. By the way, one of my biggest thrills last year, when I was at a party and I got to hang out with Andy Serkis at this uh, at this party a couple of years ago. Such a delightful guy. I was a little bit nervous walking up to him and I go up to him and say, hey, um, you know, Mr. Serkis, you want to say I'm a fan? He goes, hey, that's great. 
tell me more. And it was so funny when he says that. And he goes, and so we just started chatting. He's like, what? And we just started talking and it, it was great. And just a totally delightful dude on every single level. Absolutely. Well, listen, guys, what do you think about this whole thing? Number one, do you think there could be any legitimacy to these reports and rumors going around that we could see him in there? And if so, do you think that's a good move or do you think that's just like a sticky novelty move? Dump down into the comment section and let us know your thoughts. All right.